Hello, welcome to the European Open Briefing for Tuesday, April the 30th. I'm Rafael Bergen at XM.com, and we're going to be taking a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. So we are seeing the US dollar, even though it started off uh, on a fairly positive footing, uh, it's uh, eased back a little bit at the start of European trading, uh, and we are seeing uh, a bit of a rebound in other major pairs, particularly the euro, the pound, uh, and the Australian dollar as well, which had come under pressure earlier uh, in the morning due to disappointing Chinese PMI numbers. Uh, those PMI indicators uh, weigh on um, indices, uh, major indices in Asia and in Europe, though in China we did see uh, equities there rebound to end the day uh, in positive uh, territory. So looking now more closely um, at the main, main movers, we can see the dollar index uh, has been drifting somewhat lower from those 26 months highs from uh, last week, even though yesterday we saw Personal consumption numbers uh, showing that uh, U.S. consumption was at, rose at its fastest pace in nearly a decade in March. Uh, but the reason why we didn't see much of, uh, more of a reaction uh, upward uh, movement there was because the core PC price index uh, softened further in March. Uh, so that has uh, pretty much reaffirmed the expectations that the Fed, uh, when it announces its latest policy decision tomorrow, will keep interest rates unchanged. Uh, but still, uh, markets will be interested to see what Fed Chair Jerome Powell uh, will say about uh, the recent improvement in the growth outlook of in the US uh, economy um, uh, to see whether or not uh, the Fed could possibly still raise rates later this year. Uh, in contrast, though, things are not looking uh, so good elsewhere. Chinese manufacturing PMI is disappointed in uh, April. Uh, of course, back in March, we saw uh, a strong uh, rebound. So it's looking like uh, it's, it's going to be a, a fairly patchy recovery if that is the case. Uh, the Aussie had uh, dipped following those PMI numbers before recovering a little bit to around 0 0.7050. Uh, and uh, economic growth will be uh, in focus for the rest of the day. We've got Eurozone GDP uh, numbers for the first quarter coming up. Uh, if we do see growth of less than 0.3%, we can see the Euro heading back down again at the moment. It's managed to edge up uh, towards the 1.12 uh, handle. We're also going to have Canadian monthly GDP numbers uh, to look forward to as well. So that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day.